Hello and welcome to round 15, the final round of the Bosra MSA GT3 Championship coming to you from the Spa Endurance Track in the little town of Frankenshop. Uh, the place was designed in 1920, 19 turns and has 4.35 miles to it. My name is Jason Dewarf, I'm joined here by Simon Underhill who's going to take you through qualifying. Yeah, good evening Jason, good evening everybody. So, as you can see, Crave Parks takes a pole position yet again with a 2.16.621. This he did on his second flying lap and takes him a tally of 5 out of the 12 races he's run for pole position. Yourself, Jason, taking second position with a 2.17.011 in your BMW. And Tony bringing up the um, third place with his Acom printed Audi at 2.17.3. His twin brother Barry taking fourth, and myself in fifth with my BMW at 2177. This is Al McCain's best qualifying yet this season in sixth. Ian Robson returns the, for this race, and uh, we also have 20 of the 25 cars only just setting the qualifying lap. As you can see, Ben Hackerson not setting the time there, uh, and as you already know, he's already taken the championship for this GT3 um, series. We also have Matt, Matt, Matt Owen, John Beresford, Martin Brandon, Taylor Lane and Dave White also not setting the time. This could be a really good final end to the season, Jason. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what Ben does there from down in 21st spot. Uh, I believe he couldn't get connected in time, that's why he didn't get his lap in. So uh, we will be getting sorted and ready to go on this uh, very soon in the meantime. This is the last race of the season, but please do follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and subscribe here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get to that race start. This is going to be an absolute belter. Spa is such a difficult track to get around, let alone keep it clean. And they're already off. Craig seems to get away well yourself, getting an absolute stormer going down the inside of the two uh, Audis. Very corn printing there. Looks like Barry's yeah. got himself in all sorts of trouble. Into El Rouge, one of the best sequences of circuits on the whole of the championship circuit. This uh, El Rouge, you've got to have big bollocks to get up there quick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm sure many of us were all just thinking, let's go single file through here. I definitely did. Uh, but nice few scraps going on down this uh, main strip, or big long straight here down to the next chicane. Really good section of track. So this is on. Oh, Barry gets a, a jump start, that's why. He, got such a slow getaway and it's stuck him really in a difficult position we're on board with Alan McCain and as you say this O Rouge is just such a beautiful section of track Al taking it really nice and calm through there and it's it a long race one of those one of those uh, sequence of bends that when you get it right and you come out the top and, and you come out in one piece you think to yourself yeah you know I've done it <laughs> yeah yeah when you get it completely right the car goes completely light at the top and it's just sliding around all over the place anyway so we're all, uh, here we are at the end of the lap first one. lap, yep. start a second lap, and the two brothers have come together, under braking into La Source. That Hello. resulted in a massive argument on, on the uh, on the comms, Jason, if you remember rightly. <laughs> <laughs> it did indeed. Um, I'm not going to pass judgment uh, at all, but it looked messy, that's for sure. On board with Yam Laziva. He's had a it's few cool. difficult races recently, and oh, that's Simon uh, Jackson taking out Paul Martin there. It looks like Simon's got a little bit wide onto the. I think it's the artificial grass there, Jason, and uh, just uh, applied the, the accelerator a little bit too soon and went to the side of um, Martin. Yeah, that looks like oh, all sorry. that's happened. No, um, no malice, I'm sure, but Barry making a big old dive up the inside of Phil Gregory there. Um, really good move, trying to recover. This is only a few corners after that upsetting moment. Um, but as usual, a bad brother on a recovery drive, both mm, of them yeah. this time. It's a real shame. Looking back from Rolls Carl at uh, Taylor Lane's Audi, with uh, I think that's Matt just behind him. But uh, as you can see, a really good view of the Audi front end there. I do love those rear-facing views we get every now and again, and then we're on board with Taylor, trying to stick it up the inside of the source and makes it stick. Rolf, I think sort of got out of the way there. Yeah, uh, he likes to keep game, himself clean, doesn't he? And it's only yeah. lap two. Yeah. So here we have Ryan Walker uh, and Chris Butterhill with Tony Bard just behind, looking to make the manoeuvre move into the next corner. Um, and Tony again also wanted a puppy drive into. Yeah. He's always oh, tried to get both, but sensibly backed out. And Chris um, opportunistically getting past Martin Galenicki there. Brilliant bit of driving. 
chopper Jesus, view so. down on uh, yeah. the mat Matt's and Rolf. Oh, oh yeah. Taylor Lane. Taylor Lane and Matt Owen going sideways. Oh, oh and collecting. That's such a shame. Three cars. That is a really difficult uh, bend, though. I must admit, double apex left-hander. That is really hard to keep it stuck without going wide. Yeah, it's one of the main points on the track where you can find a load of time. Oh, there's Ben Hackerson as well. See, Ben Hackerson, he's coming up from, through the ranks, so he's 21 there, 21st. Yeah, so still where he started, I think, at this moment in time, but um, taking it nice and easy. Oh, oh dear. Tony oh. looked like he could get all three there. That would have been the move of the season if he'd have pulled that off, I think. That but... would have been a definite underhill, I think, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one way, one way or the other, it made it into the uh, into the roundup. Ryan Walker tracking down Matty Van Delden, pushes him out wide a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Martin Mark, finds himself nowhere, with to nowhere to go. Just tries to squeeze it up the inside. Brilliant bit of, bit of racing. Who's yeah. going to give up first? Matty Van Delden's got the line, has he not? Well, he has, oh, but it's down break. on the brakes. Later. Martin Galenicki, if you can hold that on the track, that's a brilliant move. Well done. Um, um, looked like he had nowhere to go. <laughs> He's taken them both. Brilliant. That was all about the BMW brakes there. Um, really good bit of driving. Looking at yourself in uh, third position. You've had a good couple of laps. Please don't tell me I'm wrong yeah, to start saying this is that. where I get it wrong. Oh. <laughs> I managed I didn't... to keep it out of the barriers though, and it's still in one piece. That's the main thing. So I just managed to get collect it all up, and uh, I think I managed to come up just in front of Phil here. Oh yeah, that's close. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Looking back from Barry, already up to uh, fifth again. So he's having a really good recovery. It yeah, looks like not... he's struggling with straight line speed. Alan McCain in the BM just coming up the outside, and uh, looking back now, and you can see Alan McCain taking that spot back from Barry. Yep, up into fifth, pushing Barry back down to sixth, but I'm sure Barry won't give up on that one very easily. That front of that Audi looks a bit battered now, though. Oh, look, there's uh, Craig Parks is taking uh, part in this race. Yeah, with yourself, is not so far, not so far behind as well, Jason. We were having a really good race at this point. Um, yeah, really good fun pushing each other hard. Um, boring to watch because there wasn't much. Um, side by side action but we were really pushing each other hard it was great racing yeah, I've got all these BMWs I say Neil Bamber on the right there in the black uh, Seagate car just being followed by Martin Glenicky in the uh, Bowden Solutions and then we have Ryan Walker in the mix in the 56 car then Matty Van Delden in the McLaren just behind you know, this could end up in disaster but then again you know, if everybody sticks to the lines it should uh, pan out quite nicely yeah they've gone two by two here uh, Neil and Martin for what's that five or six corners and Neil finally sort of gives it up knowing that we've got a really fast section here. We probably want the toe and to keep Chris behind, uh, Ryan behind him even. These guys are battling hard. Matty probably just looking at uh, what can happen. Oh, Neil's Neil. lost it. Into oh, Puyon. Yeah. Yeah, that's that double, double apex left hander. It's really difficult to, to keep that traction. Yeah, it's one of those you've got to get on the brakes really early. Get all your slowing down done, and then you can sort of accelerate the whole way through it. But it's really tough to get get right. You can uh, at Chris here, lap six, end of lap six, through that final oh. chicane. It's a tough one, and there's a again, lump yeah. right there. Hmm. Yeah, artificial grass again. You see, you know, if you hit that, you're into that wall, and there's just no recovery. You know, it's really difficult to stay away from that. Yeah, but there's Ben Hackerson going past as well. Behind, uh, who's he taking with him? Neil Bamba. He's so, making up some places, isn't he, Ben? And that's why he's a champion. <laughs> yeah, making that place as well. Going past Neil into La Source. Don't know, didn't see where that put him up to, but looking down on Jan Blaziva. Bit of an unusual chopper view here. He loses it, but manages to collect it up really quickly. It's that going past Ian Robson and Jonathan Beresford. Has managed to stay behind someone as opposed to inside their car. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus. <laughs> He's going to need to work on a new nickname for next year, but uh, for now that Miley one is definitely sticking. You know, Barry here trying to chase down Alan. It looks like he's really struggling with grip, and that kind of shows that. Keep it out of the way. Oh. 
done what his brother's done. Just got it a little bit wide onto the grass, and uh, it doesn't look like he's done too much damage. But I think now, where I work, where if I was me, I go into the pits and just take advantage of where position yeah. you are on the circuit. And he is. There he is. Yeah, yeah. You might as well. We get a free repair. Um, here's yourself. Lap eight. Yeah, here's yourself in second position, lap eight. You're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Uh, yes, yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think we all had a spin, didn't we? Yeah. That's unfortunately. Hey, you've done well there to keep it out of the barrier. And yeah. Bit of a donut as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get it round in one, but instead we're going to view a nice, embarrassing bit of me three point turning it. That was all down to fuel saving. I thought I was being really clever. Fuel saved, and then uh, turned it back up, but actually accidentally turned it back down, and I was pushing too hard to try and make up for it. Stupid mistake. There we go. Alan McCain just sneaks up a position then into fourth. He does and, indeed. Uh, Capitalises on your mistake there. And here we have, who's this? Ian Robson and Ben Hackerson into 12th at the moment. And looks like he's about to take the 11th position if he just sneaks it up the inside here, as he does. And I think Ian Robson sensibly getting out of the way just so we can let, um, let Ben... Oh, he hasn't got it. out of the way, really, has he? He's got right into the way of John Beresford. That's ironic. Isn't it? Was it John or was it Jan? Or was it Jan? Yeah, it might have been Jan. I think it was Jan. And the other team makes... No! Oh, dear. Oh, oh. Someone came in like a re wrecking ball, but it wasn't Mr. <laughs> Beresford. Ian yes. Miley Robson there. Hmm. Um, yeah, Dion taking his pit stop. This is lap 11, so it's pretty early in the window. Um, not sure how well that pans out for him. Does he, you know, is he going to manage to get to the end on that? I'm not sure, but all I can remember is that pit stop, pit lane entrance was an absolute... A hard nightmare because it just went on for ages and ages and ages and then halfway through it there was a first gear bend that if you didn't get that right you could end up with more damage here's your two commentators battle of the commentators here okay. um, me trying to recover and uh, I think I remember you essentially giving that position away just to give you credit where it's due at the end of the day Jason I know you're quicker than I am so there's just no point only on this race it was uh, it was one of those ones where I had the bit between my teeth there Craig so, taking his pit stop. Yeah, four laps later than Dion, so that's interesting to note. Um, this is the most boring pit lane in the world, though, isn't it? In it, just yeah. <laughs> You're in there Here for we, about a minute. Here we have Martin with a, a fully repaired Barry Bard Acorn Racing Audi up the inside. Oh, that's me. That's yeah. Simon Underhill doing an underhill, everybody. Um, that yeah, oh, that. Yeah. But I shall say nothing on that. Fully locked up. There it looked like once you'd locked up, there was nothing you could really do about it. Are we going to get a replay of it? No, no this is Jackson. Nice. Simon Jackson, yeah. and the fellow Synology um, BMW. He's having a, not a bad race. He, he had a bit of a collision at the start, so he's currently in 19th, looking to sneak past uh, Martin Brandon here in the Bowden Solutions BMW. Yeah, it gets looks a good like drive. He might make a move. Yeah, it looks like Martin gets a good drive out of there as well, and he's going to have the inside for this. Line, so it's about how well Simon can turn this around, get a good drive out. Looks like Martin's been uh, bullied out of the position well by Simon there. Yeah, that was a good bit of driving. Yeah. More side-by-side -side action. Martin Galenicki, you've got to say, is having an absolute stormer of a race in this one. We don't see him too much in these no. roundups, and he's uh, having a really good race. Yes, I think this is one of his best races he's had so far this season. And uh, Jan getting out of the way very well there. Uh, but unfortunately for Martin, it lets Ryan get back past and they touch very slightly. But that falls into the rubbing racing category, I think, of touches. Oh, yeah, I'd say. Oh, so head, head and, yeah, heading down to P1 now, and this could be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so they're getting on the brakes, both taking it nice and easy. Martin gets the place back. Holds on to it well. Some good racing there. Good racing by Martin and Ryan. Yeah, Ryan uh, is definitely one of the ones you can uh, trust in the championship as well to drive side by side with corner after corner. So good to see them both having that bit of trust in each other and getting some good racing done. Yeah, so Matty Van Delden looking back at the champion uh, championship. Um, ben Hackinson. Uh, he's yeah. in, a, in a Mercedes. I'm not sure where I'm on the circuit. Are you the back end of the circuit? Ben, yeah, I think we're coming up to this position. final chicane at the moment. No, we're just, uh, going through a uh, corner I've forgotten the name of. Mind blank completely. Ben going around the outside down to the chicane. Matty pretty much getting out of the way there, I think. 
on lap 19, about to start lap 20 here. So how many positions is that now? Is that 10 positions Ben's made up? That'll be 10, yeah, I think so. Barry up in uh, fourth, being chased down by yourself and uh, Soren Cruz just in front of him, having a really good race. He's not really been in many of these clips, but uh, that's generally the sign of a good, clean race. Yeah, I've got a good drive off this uh, corner. I remember this one well. Again, I think I've got the line here, but I just went into the corner a little bit too hot and slid into Barry. It, was, it wasn't deliberate. It definitely wasn't an undeal. No, just a lock-up. Yeah, we had a, a similar one in a fun race, not, not on a uh, round-up very recently, uh, so I can't have a go there. Soren uh, catching up with, who's that, Dave White, who will be trying to stay out of the way. Ooh. He's damaged his car and it looks like Soren's struggling now. Yeah. Yeah, his steering wheel's to one side, so it looks like Soren needs to get pit and do some repairs. That is really unfortunate for Soren there. He was having a great race, as we said, and um, I know Dave never means to create any of those incidents but uh, that is one that has just happened unfortunate commentators curse even though we're not doing it live I just said <laughs> yeah. that Soren was doing well <laughs> <laughs> Tony uh, with a returning Matt Owen where are they 14th and 15th coming in to finish 21st lap oh no they're on their 21st lap now Tony sticks it down the inside at the source and looks for that good exit as well and giving him a good wide berth. Yeah, Matt just doing a sensible thing and pulling over, I think, knowing that uh, Tony is a little bit faster in the Audi. So on board to ride Walker, following Martin Galenicki up Eau Rouge. Um, again, the whole of this race looks like they had some <laughs> really good racing. And you can see Ryan's got the pace up the Eau Rouge to put it past Martin going to the straight. Yeah, and tries to scare him into a little bit of a lift there as well. He's got the drive, but he's also got the outside line, and we know that Martin's great into this next corner. Now he's, he's, he's yeah, played he's allowed Ryan game. to do it. Yeah, they've been racing well this whole race, and we're right into the latter stages here. I think uh, this sort of length of circuit, we're looking for 25, 26 laps, something like that. So we're very close towards the end. Tony on his 23rd lap. Um, a little bit further down the order and takes it for another little scrape down the barrier and oh, unfortunately spins it right round as well. A nightmare, isn't he, Tony, this race? He usually does pretty well. I think it's this one definitely to forget, Tony. Yeah, he had a, he had a, a chance mathematically at getting uh, a third spot in this championship, um, but he needed to win the race and unfortunately he's had a bit of a shocker. These two again side by side. It's like every lap. This is the 25th lap now, and yeah. I'm pretty sure they've been side by side at least 25 times. But, but look at who's behind them. Just Ben Hackerson in, in eighth place now from 25th. Yeah. Well, here we go. 25 laps completed. Craig Parks takes the win at Spa at the final round of this 15 round championship. And uh, he does that for quite a few times, doesn't he? He's. Um, He's done a fair few wins, five in this championship, I believe. It's, yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's had a fair number of uh, podiums, definitely. He's done very well indeed, and here's Ben getting right involved from that eighth place. He wants at least seventh by the looks of it as they come <laughs> round the get, last yeah. two times. Is he going to get sixth by the looks of it? He's got oh, sick what a drive. What two a drive. corners, uh, that, two positions. Right, that last. man is a champion. Absolutely. We congratulated him in the last bit of commentary, but congratulations again to Ben Hackerson for taking uh, the victory in the championship and what a drive 21st to 6th big mention here Barry Bard down in 13th in this race but it, more importantly the team he's representing there Acorn Printing um, managed to secure the top spot in the team championship as well there I believe yep so congratulations to Acorn of which you are one of the drivers so well done Jason <laughs> thanks very much um, yeah we had a, a really good season as a team but uh, there we go Official race result, Craig Parks taking that win from myself. Good 20 seconds down the road. Dion Phillips having a really good race and getting third ahead of yourself. Simon in fourth. And then we see further down, we see that uh, Chris Butterill ends up in 17th. Martin Brand 16th. Daniel Bailey, interestingly, finishes on the least incident points of the race with just five, which is pretty tough around Spa. Which shows the uh, final GT3 Championship driver standings. Ben Hackerson, as we said, finished first. The head of Craig Parks, who's managed to get uh, second in the championship. And myself in third. 
so congratulations to all involved there a few different place swaps further down the order as well Chris Butterwell moving up into 17th Soren Cruz doing really well to get 52 points in very few races finishing 20th there what a season eh Acorn Printing getting uh, the team championships as we said ahead of Seagate by nearly 100 points in the end it got very close a few races ago but uh, yeah that 100 points there with uh, the rest of our sponsors Motorsport Auctions, Bowdoin Solutions, Synology and 56 in their respective places there as well that yep. was pretty epic, wasn't it, Simon? It was. It's been an absolutely fantastic championship. And I just want to thank everybody who's been involved in organising it and running it. It's been a really joy to, to be involved with uh, and also commentate on the, the videos I've commentated on. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pleasure to have you along, Simon, and, uh, and all you viewers. So please hit the subscribe button. We will be back in January for the 2017 Bosra MSA GT3 Championship. Thank you for watching.